John Gyo, LLSE 1698, 11 June 1725, was a notorious pirate whose short career was immortalized by Charles Johnson in the 1725 work The History and Lives of All the Most Notorious Pirates and Their Crews. Little is known of his life except from an account by Daniel Defoe, which is often considered unreliable, the report on his execution, and an account by Mr. Alan Fayer, descendant of his captor, published in 1912, almost two centuries after his death. Early Life Gao was probably born in Wick, Caithness, to William Gao, a merchant, and Margaret Calder. He was raised in Stromness, Orkney, where he went to school and learned to sail a ship. Pirate Prior to August 1724, he crewed a voyage from London to Lisbon and back, during which he plotted to seize control of the vessel. He failed to attract sufficient numbers, however, and the effort went nowhere. In London, word spread about the attempt, so Gao fled to Amsterdam, where he joined the Santa Cruz-bound Caroline as second mate. After several months' layover in Santa Cruz, on 3 November 1724, the Caroline departed for Genoa, Italy, with a cargo of beeswax, leather, and woolen. The shipboard climate, however, was troubled. There were complaints about the food on board the ship, and Frenio, the captain of the Caroline, was accused of treating the other crewmen of the vessel improperly. Grousing of short allowance, the crewmen of the Caroline started to disobey some of the captain's orders. The captain, realizing that his orders were being disobeyed, consulted his mate. The two men agreed to stash some small arms in the cabin so they could defend themselves in case of mutiny. Unfortunately for the captain, two of the conspirators on the upper deck overheard the conversation. Not realizing that Gao was the ringleader of the attempted mutiny, Freno ordered Gao to prepare arms to defend the crew. Upon hearing this, the mutineers decided to act that night. At 10 p.m., after half the ship's company had retired following evening prayer, shots echoed across the deck Told that someone had fallen overboard, Frenot ran to the rail, where he was stabbed in the neck and shot twice in the stomach by Gao, then thrown overboard by the other conspirators. Still alive, he managed to clutch a rope dangling from the side of the ship, but when the conspirators realized this, they cut the rope and he tumbled into the sea. The next morning, the remainder of the crew was given the option of following their captain or joining the mutineers. Accounts indicate that they all accepted their former position. The ship was renamed Revenge. Over the next few weeks, the Revenge began attacking British ships in the area, starting with the Delight, 12 November, and the Sarah, 21 November. The crews were usually set adrift, though some deemed useful were given the option of joining Gao's crew. Over the next few months, Gao attacked several other ships, plying the region. Capture After a successful career as a pirate off the Iberian Peninsula, Gao decided to return to the Orkney Islands. He was running low on supplies, and the authorities were on his trail. Arriving in early 1725, he adopted the name Mr. Smith, Gao being Gaelic for Smith, and renamed his vessel the George and passed as a wealthy trader even courting a Miss Gordon. He was eventually recognized by a merchant passing through the islands and his true identity was revealed. According to other accounts, some of his prisoners escaped there and notified the authorities. Rather than surrender, Gao and his men successfully raided the Hall of Clestrain on 10 February 1725, but when they attempted to attack another remote mansion, they ran aground on the calf of Ide, where they were captured. Death According to the Newgate calendar, Gao was slow to die when he hanged. To relieve his pain, some of his friends pulled at his legs, but this just broke the rope, causing him to tumble to the ground from where he was gathered up and hanged again. After his death, his body, along with those of his crew, was left in the River Thames. The bodies were then tarred and suspended on the riverbank as a warning to other would be pirates. He was tried alongside pirate Brigstock Weaver, whose crimes were unrelated to goats. While Gao was hanged for his piracies, Weaver was reprieved and soon pardoned. 